Hello, and welcome to Factorio. So I've done a few playthroughs recently where I've used um, train limits on the stations to control traffic, and it's worked really well. But occasionally I've run into situations where I'm sure I've got enough trains, I'm sure I've got enough stations, but something's got jammed, and I couldn't figure out why. So what I've done is set up this test world to uh, illustrate the issue and um, give you a quick heads up about um, how scheduling can become very unfair in situations where you would expect it to be very simple. So what I've got set up here are five train stations on the left called IN, each set to a train limit of one, and five train, train stations on the right named OUT, again, each set to a limit of one. So that means there are 10 potential parking spaces for trains. I've then put nine trains onto the train network and I've given each one a unique color so that if you're interested, you can follow it with your eyes. And then I've started them going in a random order. And that's kind of an important thing, I think, to why this breaks. But in a real playthrough, you do always set things off in random orders. Right, now, if you watch this for a while, you, you would be forgiven for thinking that all the trains are moving at some point. They're all getting a turn. It might not be a fair turn. It might not be that they all move as often or they take, you know, that every ninth time a train moves and it waits nine skips for the others to move. If you watch for a while, you will notice that this grey train here, this white train, never moves. I've been running this for about half an hour, it never moves. The reason why is because it keeps rescheduling what its target station is, right? So it keeps rescheduling it to a train that wishes to leave the other side. But for whatever reason, by the time it reschedules to one, it's a station which is occupied. By the time it repaths, it repaths to another one that's occupied and on and on and on. So this white train never manages to move. It's always getting blocked by another train which is either sitting in the station or has parved to it early. So it's just tried to get in where the black train goes. It's been trying to get in where the rose gold train at the top goes. Um, and you see it's just not making any progress. So and now the Rose Train is moving, right? So if it had just carried on waiting for the top Rose Train to come available, it would have been able to go into the Rose Train stop at the very top. But it shifted. It's now shifted down to the blue train away from the black train. And in a moment, we will see the black train move, opening up that slot. But because the white train... There it is. Because the white train is no longer trying to path into where the black train was. And so on and on. And around and around we go. So... Even though there are enough train slots for every train to move, and even though there is obviously a way to round robin the trains so that every train gets a chance to move in turn, in practice, because of the way this scheduling has fallen, the white train is never going to move. And I've done this a few times, pressing start and stop in different orders. And uh, sometimes it's, it's like this where there's just the one train which doesn't move. Sometimes uh, there are literally only three trains which move at all on this network, depending upon how, what order I start the trains moving. Um, and it's just really bizarre. But you can see how uh, this could bite you. So I've had train station setups where there were um, iron ore trains coming in, plenty of iron mines. I've set up lots of iron trains with one train coming in to each iron ore smelter block. And I've ended up with my station, with my um, factory dying because two of the three train stations never received any iron ore. There's enough trains in, in the network, there's enough stations in the network for pickup, there's the right number of stations for the drop off, but because the network is almost saturated with trains, you get this blocking effect. Now the only way to fix it is to move the number of train stations closer, sorry, the number of 
open train stations closer to the number of trains. That either means deleting trains or it means introducing parking stations so that you can buffer up trains on a wait for one of the terminal stations. Uh, but otherwise, you can end up with this bizarre situation where on the back of an envelope, everything should be fine with your network, and yet it doesn't work. I, I think we saw this in the last Nilaus Megabase design, where at times he had plenty of trains, he had plenty of production sites, plenty of consumption sites, um, and yet some production modules were just never emptying. And I, I, I think this is the train scheduling bug he may have been hitting, where because there were a limited number of consumers and there were more trains than there were consumers, the trains ended up round robining a subset of the trains to the consumers, even though they were parked at the production modules full, ready to go. Um, anyway, that's all I really wanted to show today. It's a weird one. Um, as I say, the, the fix is, uh, rather than having this kind of design to, um, whoop, uh, sorry, I killed my character a minute ago and it, it died a horrible death and now I don't have anything in my inventory. Ah, and apparently I haven't got cheat enabled. Okay. Uh, let's see if that... Yep, and I'll need some construction bots. Uh, that. And... Uh, oh, I've got no body. Well, I, I kind of give up. Anyway, you get, you get the idea. So what you would need is... Um, so all these train stations here, then you would need to go into some um, parking bays before you went on and you'd need multiple parking bays uh, so that the trains could um, wait here for one of the real stations they need uh, to do their job. And that way um, you've artificially introduced a whole load of wait stations so that the trains can uh, come out of the small number of limited stations, go park up in a stacker, which is just a drive-through stacker, and then uh, when one of these comes free, a train can come out and park. If, if you do that, I think because you've increased the number of stops so that uh, there's a more equal division of stops and trains, I think the p routing will suddenly become a lot more fair and you won't hit these same edge conditions. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to show today. Um, it's a colourful example, but we're still there. That, that train has still not moved. Um, and you can see how this could uh, pretty much kill uh, the throughput of a uh, carefully tuned megabase uh, dead, which would be very sad, um, and we'd all have to cry very serious tears over it. Anyway, until next time, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.